So, what brings you to my office today? My tooth is killing me. How long has your tooth been bothering you? It just started hurting me last night. Have you injured your tooth in any way? I think one of my fillings might be coming loose. Do you have a special kind of toothbrush that you like to use? I have an electric toothbrush. Does it bother you when you eat something really sweet? Oh yeah, when I do that, it hurts a lot more. Hi, I was wondering if you had my test results in. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary, but I want you to log onto our website for a printout of all of the details. So basically, I am okay. If there were any major problems, I would always notify you by phone to come in. What will I learn when I see the results on the website? A description of each test is given on the site. What will the numbers tell me? The website will give you a normal range and then tell you what your results are. Are all of my test results on that site? Your entire test history is on the site. You can compare your results from over the years. Doctor, can you give me some suggestions on how to stay healthy? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you eat the right foods. Where are the best foods to eat? You should emphasize fresh fruits and vegetables, along with whole grains and protein. What should I avoid? You need to avoid highly fatty and greasy foods. You should also avoid too much sugar and caffeine. What else is important to stay healthy? You need to get plenty of exercise every day. If you smoke, you need to stop. Is it okay to drink alcohol? Actually, studies have shown that people who have one half a glass of alcohol per day do better than those who don't drink. How are you feeling today? I'm pretty tired. I haven't been sleeping well. Do you have enough time to get the right amount of sleep? I have enough time. I just can't seem to fall asleep and stay asleep. What time do you usually go to bed? I don't have one time in particular. I just go to sleep whenever I feel tired. Have you been under a lot of stress lately? I just lost my job, and I am unsure about being able to find another one. Have you ever tried doing relaxation exercises before you go to bed? I have never tried that, but it sounds like a good idea. Hi, is this Professor Clark's office? This is Professor Clark speaking. Hi, this is Kalia from Morning Literature class. Yes, what can I do for you? I had a skydiving accident over the weekend and won't be able to come to school today. <gasps> My goodness, are you okay? I broke my leg, but it is healing. How long will you be out of class? I should be able to return by next Monday. Fine. Well, thanks for calling and let me know you will be absent. I hope you feel better soon. Good morning. I made an appointment with Dr. Smith, but I have to change it. When you made your appointment, what day did you choose? My appointment was on Wednesday. At what time was that appointment? It was for four in the afternoon. I could see the appointment that you had. What day did you need to change it to? I want to change it to next Tuesday. What time would you prefer? I would prefer three o'clock in the afternoon. I'll put it down for that time. Thank you for calling to reschedule. I've had some really horrible headaches lately. How long have your headaches been going on? I get headaches occasionally, but they have been really bad lately. Any unusual amounts of stress in your life going on right now? I'm getting ready to take my GRE. Have you been able to sleep regular hours? It has been hard for me to sleep with a bad headache. Has anything hit you in the head lately? I hit my head on a cupboard door a week ago. Let's have you come back in a few days and see how you feel. Hi, I need to make an appointment to see the doctor. What seems to be the problem? I have a rash that I need a doctor to look at. Ugh. Do you have a fever with that rash? No, it just itches a lot. I have an opening on Tuesday or Wednesday. Which would be best for you? I need an appointment on Tuesday. Fine. I am putting you down for 9 o'clock on that day. Would you like to see Dr. Smith or Dr. Jones? I would like to see Dr. Jones. I can schedule you with him with no problem. We look forward to seeing you. K 
can you help me find the lotion for a problem I'm having? That's what I'm here for. What questions can I answer for you? I have poison oak and I need help with the rash that won't stop itching. The best product is Tetchnu and you can buy either the lotion or cream. Which one is best? The cream form is very popular. Can I do anything else to help with the itching? You could also take an antihistamine to help the rash go away quicker. I appreciate you helping me find a solution to the itching. Anytime you have a question, please feel free to ask. Doctor, what are some things that I can do to stay as healthy as I can be? You need to eat healthy foods and avoid unhealthy foods. Sometimes I don't know what the best foods are. Fresh fruits and vegetables are important, along with protein and whole grains. What things should I avoid? You don't want to eat food that is high in fat. You need to avoid caffeine and sugar. Beyond diet, what else can I do to be healthy? Getting 30 minutes of exercise a day is important. If you smoke, you need to stop. How about having a beer on the weekend? Less than a serving of alcohol a day can actually be good for you. Do not overdo it. How have you been feeling lately? I've been feeling a little lightheaded lately. Has your blood pressure been high before? If I have high blood pressure... It is news to me. Usually people with high blood pressure have no symptoms, so we call it the silent killer. What do you use to check for high blood pressure? I'm going to put a cuff on you to get a reading. What does the reading tell you? I get an idea of the pressure in your arteries when your heart is pumping blood versus at rest. I hope that the test results show me to be really healthy. I hate to call you this late at night, but could you possibly help me to get to the emergency room? We will come right over. What happened? My temperature went up to 105 and I have a rash. Make sure that someone unlocks the back door so I can get in if you fall asleep before I get there. I will do that in a minute. Make sure that you have your insurance card and driver's license where we can grab them. I know right where they both are. Is there an emergency room near you? It is on the other side of town, next to City Hall. I am on my way. Give me ten minutes and I'll get to you. Hello, I scheduled an appointment with Dr. Smith and I can't make it on that day. What day was your appointment on? My appointment was on Monday. What time had you chosen? It was for ten in the morning. I am looking at your appointment right now. What day would you prefer? I would prefer next Thursday. What time would be best for you? I want to come in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I am writing you down for that time. We look forward to seeing you. What is that plastic cup for? Your doctor has requested a urine sample. I'm supposed to pee into the cup? We want what we call a clean sample. Urinate a drop or so into the toilet and then stop the flow and urinate into the cup. Then what do I do with the cup? You put the cup in the little cubby in the restroom and close the door to the cubby. What is this test for? He is looking to see if you have a bladder or urinary tract infection. When do I know the results? Your doctor will call you in a few days with the results. I need information on purchasing health insurance. Is this the first time you have had health insurance? This is my first time buying health insurance. You have a choice of HMO or a PPO. Do you understand the difference? I am not sure what those are. Just so you understand completely, an HMO is a little cheaper, but you have limited choices of which doctor you choose. If I need to use my insurance, are the payments the same for a PPO and HMO? By going to the providers on the HMO list, you save money in out-of-pocket expenses. Can you give me a comparison between a PPO and an HMO? We can mail you a questionnaire, and when we have all of your information, we'll mail you a quote. 
Hello, could you tell me my test results? Your results are posted on the website. Just put in your password and you can see the exact numbers. Are you saying that all my results were normal? We always contact you by phone to come in if there is a need for follow-up. How will I know what the results mean on the website? The purpose of each test is given on the site. Will the numbers mean anything to me? The website will give you your results and then tell you what the normal range is. Can I see all of my test results at once? Yes, you can see every test for the past five years. You can compare them. Nice to see you. How have you been feeling lately? I've been feeling great, Dr. Smith. I'm happy that you have decided to come in for your annual physical. Yes, I'm going on a cross-country bike ride on vacation and want to make sure that I don't have any problems. We're going to look at your heart and lungs, do a few blood tests, and see that your eyes, ears, and nose are all working as they should. I've been having trouble with congestion in my chest. Can you give me some tests for that? I can do a chest x-ray to check for congestion. That would be great. What is the blood test for? The blood test is for cholesterol, white blood cell count, and blood sugar. I've been feeling great. I don't imagine that any of my tests will turn out badly. Hello? The nurse said that you might have my test results in from the other day. I would like for you to come in and talk about a few more tests that I would like to run. Does this mean that you have bad news for me? I just want to talk to you about the tests that I want to run. Can't you just tell me now? I don't know anything for certain. We always do a double check if there is a question. I want to see you right away. You can come in this afternoon. If you're feeling too stressed, feel free to bring a friend along. I know for sure that something is wrong. Don't worry about a thing. We are just taking a second look and talking. Has everything been okay with you lately? I haven't been able to get a good night's sleep lately. I'm exhausted. Have you been too busy to get enough sleep? I try to go to sleep, but I just can't stay asleep. How late do you try to go to sleep? I go to bed when I finish my work. Has anything in your day-to-day -day life been bothering you lately? I am worried about how I am going to pay my tuition. Hmm. You might consider listening to relaxing music as you go to sleep to clear your head. Doing something relaxing before I go to sleep sounds like a plan. I really need your help and want to know if you could drive me to the emergency room. I will take you there right away. What's wrong? I woke up with a rash and a temperature of 105. I want to be able to get to you when I get there. If you can unlock the back door right now, that would be great. I will make sure that I do that before you get here. Also, make sure that we have your driver's license and insurance card before we leave for the emergency room. I am getting them out while I am speaking to you. Do you know where your nearest emergency room is? It is near the bridge that crosses over the river. I am driving to you even as we speak. Hang in there. Hello! So how are we feeling today? Things are going well for me, Dr. Smith. Am I correct in thinking that you are here for your annual physical? Yes. I'm applying for new health insurance, and I need a physical examination to qualify. Your basic physical exam will include lungs, heart, blood levels, and eyes, ears, and nose. I've been having a little trouble breathing. Would you look into that, please? We can do an allergy test, and later I can send you for an asthma test. I would appreciate it. When you give me a blood test, what are you looking for? I'm going to check your cholesterol, blood sugar, and white blood cell count. I'm expecting the test to go well. I have been taking good care of myself. What seems to be the problem? Oh my god, it's my stomach, it's killing me! Where does it hurt the most? Right here, it hurts right here! How long has it felt like this? It felt okay when I woke up and then suddenly I had this really sharp pain. Do you have a history of stomach pain? No, and I haven't done anything out of the ordinary. Well, I think that we're going to have to get you into an emergency room right away. Thank you for helping me. 
My doctor said that I need a chest x-ray. Just take your clothes off from the waist up and put this gown on with the opening in the back. What should I do after that? You need to come over here and face this plate. Am I standing the right way? I will need your arms raised to shoulder height. Am I doing this the right way? Everything you are doing is perfect. Are you going to leave? I am just getting behind the screen. You need to take a deep breath, hold it, and then breathe normally. Is that all there is to it? You can get dressed as soon as the film is processed. We will be all done here. I'm dropping off my prescription to get it filled. You can come back in 20 minutes and it will be ready. If I couldn't wait, could the prescription be mailed to me? Yes, you can have it delivered or filled at any location in our HMO. When should I take this medication? You need to take it at bedtime. Should I take this medicine on an empty stomach? Don't mix alcohol with this medication, but you can take it with or without food. What are the side effects of this medication? You might feel a little dizzy at first, but it should pass. Good morning. Is this Ryan? You are speaking with Ryan. How can I help you? Ryan, this is Malia, and I need to call in sick today. What seems to be the problem? I went hiking and have terrible poison oak. <gasps> when did you get that? Oh, I think I got it on Saturday, but it just showed up today. What are you doing for it? The doctor prescribed an ointment and gave me a shot. Good. You probably should be much better by tomorrow. Hello. I need to come in and see the doctor. Are you scheduling a checkup or are you ill? I have really itchy skin and think I have to have it looked at. Have you been feeling any joint aches with that rash? No, but I have a low fever. I have times available for Tuesday or Wednesday. Which one would work best for you? I want to come in on Wednesday. I can fit you in on that day at 10 o'clock. Dr. Smith or Dr. Jones is available. I would prefer Dr. Smith. You can see the doctor of your choice then, and we will see you at your scheduled appointment time. Can I get some medicine to help me? For your high blood pressure, we have several choices of medications. What types of drugs can I try? Hydrochlorothiazide is a diuretic that helps you with water retention. What about side effects from that medication? Most people have no side effects. You will have to make sure that you drink plenty of liquids with this medication. Do I only need to take that one drug? I'm going to add a second drug for now, Lysinopril, which is an ACE inhibitor. What can I expect when I take that medication? You will feel much better except for the fact that you might have a... Hi, may I speak to Ryan, please? This is Ryan you're speaking with. What can I do for you? Hi, Ryan. This is Malia, and I will not be coming to work today. What is wrong with you? I have really bad poison oak, and I can't stop itching. How long have you had it? I've had it a few days, but the rash really got bad last night. How have you been treating it? I have some lotion that the doctor gave me as well as a antihistamine. That should work. I'll see you tomorrow when you return to work. My doctor says that I need a blood test. I can help you with that. Just have a seat and roll up your left sleeve. What are you taking my blood for? Your doctor has requested a check of your white blood count. What information does that give him? If your white blood cell count is off, it could signal an infection somewhere in your body. Is a blood test painful? I'm putting a tourniquet on your arm to plump up the vein. It will only feel like a little pinprick. Oh my god, that hurts! That was it. Thank you for coming in today. Good morning, may I speak with Professor Clark, please? You're speaking with Professor Clark? Professor, I am Kalia from your morning literature class. Yes, how can I help you? I ran my car into a tree yesterday and need to miss a few days of school. Oh my god, I hope you're alright. I have a concussion, but I will be okay.
How much school will you be missing? I only need to take this week off. I appreciate you calling and telling me that you won't be in class. See you next week. Can you tell me where it hurts? I'm so glad they called you. It feels like something is really wrong with my stomach. Does it hurt when I push here? It's mostly on my right side, right here. Have you been feeling this way for a while? I started feeling kind of sick last night after dinner, but this morning the pain got really bad. Have you eaten anything unusual lately? No, not that I can remember. We are going to take you to an emergency room right now. I will feel better when I know what the problem is. Thank you. I have been getting headaches almost every day lately. Have you just started getting a lot of headaches? I never had very many headaches before, but the last few weeks I have been getting a lot of them. Have you had any unusual stressful situations in your life lately? My mother just passed away last Tuesday. <sighs> Sorry. How about sleep? Are you getting enough rest? I have been working really hard and sleep has not been a priority. Have you bumped your head or fallen lately? No, I haven't hit my head. I'm going to send you to a neurologist for a few tests. Hello. Is this Professor Clark? Why, yes, I am Professor Clark. Hello, Professor. This is Kalia, and I'm in your literature class on Monday morning. Yes, how are you doing? I was partying hard over the weekend, fell down the stairs, and I need to recuperate. That sounds painful. Are you going to be okay? I sprained my wrist, but the doctor says it will be fine. How many days will you be out of school? The doctor said I should be good enough to return next week. I'm glad you let me know. That you will be missing class. Get well. Excuse me. Could you help me pick out a lotion? Sure. What is the problem? I got poison oak while hiking, and I need something to help me with the itching. I can suggest a product called Techno that comes in a lotion or cream. Which do you prefer? Hikers tell me that the cream is best because it stays on longer. Is there anything else I can do to help with the? Itching? You can take an antihistamine. Thank you so much for all your information. You are welcome. Please feel free to ask me a question anytime you need help. Why are you handing me a plastic cup? Your doctor wants to test your urine and needs a sample. How am I supposed to do that? We need you to urinate like you normally would, and then stop it finishing to the cup. What am I supposed to do with the cup when I'm done? Leave the cup in the cubby in the restroom. Just close the cubby door and walk away. What kind of test is this? He wants to know if you have bacteria in your urine, which could signal an infection. How long will it take to get the results? We will send your doctor the results and he will contact you. Hi. The lab said that you would be getting my test results in today. I'd like you to come in and discuss some further tests that I would like to run. I think that that is a bad sign. For now, I would like to run a few more tests to look into some of the problems they mentioned. Why wouldn't you tell me over the phone? If there is any question about test results, we always do a recheck. I need to come in right away. I would be happy to see you this afternoon. If you're feeling upset, please bring a friend or relative along. You are scaring me. Come on in this afternoon and we'll talk. It will be fine. Where are you feeling the pain? I can't stand up. My stomach is killing me. Can you put your hand where it hurts the most? It hurts smack in the middle of my gut. Did this just come on suddenly? I felt okay until an hour or so ago, and then I just doubled over. Have you exercised strenuously or played sports recently? No, I don't usually get a lot of stomach aches. We need to get to an emergency room to see what the problem is. I think that that is the best way to figure out what is causing this. Thank you. I've been having a lot of headaches lately. Have you been having these headaches for a long time? I have had headaches my whole life, but they have been getting worse lately. 
Have you been under a lot of stress lately? I've been under stress, but no more than usual. Have you been getting enough sleep lately? No, I only sleep a few hours a night. Have you had any head injuries lately? Yes, actually, I fell skiing last week and hit my head. I am going to send you for a CT scan, and I will see you again when we see the results. How have you been doing lately? Actually, I haven't been sleeping well. I'm kind of out of it. Is there some reason why you can't get enough sleep? I go to bed, but I just can't get comfortable enough to stay asleep. Hmm. When do you turn in for the night? I usually try to go to bed around 11 or so during the week. Do you have a lot on your mind when you try to go to sleep? My mother is ill with cancer, and I think about her a lot. Do you ever meditate or read before bedtime? I usually watch a lot of television before I go to bed. Maybe I should try something else to help me quiet down. Are you feeling okay? My stomach is bothering me. What have you been eating? I had a ham sandwich with mayonnaise for lunch. Maybe the food had something wrong with it. It could be bad food, but I didn't feel so well yesterday either. Have you been under a lot of pressure lately? I haven't been under any more stress than usual. Perhaps you have caught that bug that is going around. I feel like maybe I'm coming down with the flu. Is there a medication you could prescribe to help me with my problem? There are various choices of blood pressure medication that we can try. What is available? We could start with hydrochlorothiazide, which is a diuretic. Are there many side effects? There really are not many side effects. You need to drink a lot of water when you take this pill. Is that the only medication I need to take? It might be, but for a while, I also want you to take an ACE inhibitor, lisinopril. What are the side effects of that drug? You may have a little bit of a dry cough, but you will feel much better. You don't look so good. I have a major stomach ache. Did you eat something strange? I had spaghetti with clam sauce for lunch. Maybe you have food poisoning. Yes, that could have been it, but I haven't been feeling that great for the past few days. Are you under a lot of stress? Not really. Things have been going okay. Maybe you have a touch of the flu. I think that I might be getting the flu. Professor, excuse me, but I need to leave early. What seems to be the problem? I am not feeling well. What is bothering you? I think I'm beginning to have an a asthma attack. Would you like someone to walk you over to the student health center? No, I, I think I should just go home because I have mm, some medicine there. Do you need a ride home? Uh, I live in the dorms across the street, so I I'll be okay. Okay. Then hope you feel better soon. Check your email for missed assignments. Doctor, what is the best way to stay healthy? Having a good diet is probably the most important thing. It is very confusing to know what to eat. You need plenty of fruits and vegetables, small amounts of protein, and whole grains. Are there certain things that I should avoid? You shouldn't consume too much sugar or caffeine. Also, watch your intake of fatty food. After watching my diet, what else should I do? You need to stop smoking and make sure that you get 30 minutes of exercise every day. Can I have a glass of wine now and then? As long as you don't overdo it, a glass of wine a day should be okay. Hello, I'd like to speak with Ryan. This is Ryan. How may I help you? Ryan, this is Malia, and I'm afraid that I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Do you know what the problem is? I have a horrible rash from poison oak. Have you had it a long time? The doctor said that I probably have had it a few days. Have you been using anything for it? I bought some over-the-counter lotion, and I'm taking an antihistamine. That will probably take care of your symptoms. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! How are you doing today? I have been feeling pretty good, Dr. Smith. So... I can see by your chart 
that you are here for your annual physical. Yes. I am playing on the tennis team this year, and they are requiring me to get a physical exam. We are basically going to check your heart, lungs, blood sugar levels, and eyes, ears, and nose. I've been kind of having problems being out of breath. Can you look at that? Yes, I will I will check for your asthma. And maybe we can check for your allergies later. Thank you. What will the blood test tell you? We'll be checking for blood sugar, cholesterol, and white blood cell count. I have been working hard to stay healthy. I hope that the tests turn out well. I need to get my prescription filled. You may pick it up in 20 minutes. If I wanted to, could I have it mailed to me? Yes, and you can renew this prescription by phone. Are there any special instructions about this medication? Take it three times a day. Can I take it with food? You should take this medicine with food and no alcohol. Are there any side effects with this medication? You might get a little dizzy, but that is it. Have you been feeling okay lately? My coach wants you to check my blood pressure. Has anyone ever told you that you had high blood pressure? I don't have any symptoms of high blood pressure. People with high blood pressure seldom know they have it, which is why we call it the silent killer. Oh, what test do you do for high blood pressure? We will pump air into this cuff to get a reading. When you get the reading, what information does it give you? It tells me how hard your heart pumps blood and how much your arteries relax at rest. I am hoping that this test goes well for me. I'm calling to purchase health insurance. Do you have health insurance now? I was on my parents' policy, but I need to start buying my own. You can purchase an HMO or a PPO. Do you know what you want? I don't know what I want. Let me explain it to you. An HMO is a little cheaper, but you can only choose certain doctors. When I go to the doctor, do I pay the same out-of-pocket expenses for a PPO? The payments are a little lower for an HMO, as long as you go to their doctors. How much will a PPO cost me per month? We need to factor in many things. Why don't you come in and we will have you fill out a questionnaire. Good morning. I would like to make a doctor's appointment. Can you describe your health concern? I have been having skin problems that aren't going away. Are you in pain? No, except for the rash. I feel fine. Would Tuesday or Wednesday be best for you? I'd like to come in on Tuesday. I will write you in for that day at 4. You can see either Dr. Smith or Dr. Jones. I'd like to see Dr. Smith. I will write you in on the doctor's schedule. See you then. Doctor, I have the worst toothache. How long have you had this pain? For about a week or so, but it's gotten really bad in the last couple of days. Did you do anything that might have aggravated your tooth? You know... I was eating jawbreakers in the movies the other day, and I accidentally bit down really hard on one. What kind of toothbrush do you use? I just use a regular hard bristle toothbrush. Does it bother you when you eat something really cold? Yes, it definitely bothers me more when I do that. Hi, I think I'm supposed to call for my test results today. <laughs> If you go onto our website and put in your password, you can access your test results. Are you saying that there weren't any problems? I will always have you come in for a discussion if there is a major problem. Will I be able to read the results on the website and understand them? Yes, if you go there, you can see what each test is about. How will I know what the numbers mean? You can see your results and how they compare to the normal range. How can I see test results from tests I have taken before? We put all of your test results up in the same place. Just check the dates for what you need. Have you been having any problems lately? No, but the nurse at school says that I should have my blood pressure checked. Do you have a history of high blood pressure? No, 
I have never been told that I have high blood pressure. High blood pressure is called the silent killer because it hardly ever has symptoms. How do you check for high blood pressure? We are going to use this cuff here and it will give me a reading. What do the numbers mean? They tell me how much your heart is working at the rest and when pumping blood. Good. That will help me know how I am doing. I came to this lab to have my blood drawn. You're in the right place. Roll up your left sleeve and have a seat. What am I being tested for? Your doctor wants to know what your white blood cell count is. What does my white blood cell count tell him? Usually if your white count is off, the doctor suspects an infection. How much will it hurt? It's only a pinprick. I have to put this tourniquet on your arm to make the vein easier to find. Is that my blood going into that tube? That blood that just filled the tube is all that I needed. Thanks for coming in. Hello, I have to see the doctor right now. What makes you feel this is an emergency? I feel like I can't breathe well. How long has this been going on? It started last night. In the event of a real emergency, please dial 911. I know that I can dial 911, but I just want to go to the doctor now. In that case, can you come to our urgent care facility on Sunset Boulevard? My family can bring me to the urgent care. Come in right away, and they will see you as soon as possible. How have you been doing? I can't sleep or eat. I have a really bad pain in my tooth. How long have you had this toothache? It bothers me off and on, but it's gotten much worse these past few weeks. Is there anything that you've done to your tooth that might have caused the pain? My girlfriend told me that I grind my teeth a lot when I sleep. Maybe that's the problem. When you brush your teeth, what do you use? I use a soft bristled toothbrush. Does it bother you when you have to chew a lot? Absolutely. That set it off big time. Hello, I need a doctor's appointment right away. Is this an emergency? I am having trouble breathing. Have you had a cold lately? It has been going on for a few days now. You should hang up and dial 911. I don't think that this is that bad, but I need to see a doctor right away. Is there someone who can drive you to our urgent care facility on Sunset Boulevard? Yes, I can get a ride to urgent care. Good. When you get there, a doctor will be able to see you right away. Hi. I was wondering if I could get my test results from the other day. Yes, I would like to schedule an appointment for you to come in and talk with me. Is something wrong with me? No, sometimes the test results aren't clear and we need to do more to get a clearer picture. Can we talk about it now? I would if I knew anything for sure, but I want to take a second look. When can I come and see you? You can come in this afternoon. If you would feel better, bring your husband with you. Now I know that something bad is up. Just relax. We will talk about it this afternoon. What am I supposed to do with this plastic cup? That cup is for a urine sample. How? Exactly, does this work? This particular test calls for you to urinate into the cup after you have urinated a little into the toilet. When I finish, what should I do then? You need to leave the cup in the cubby in the restroom and the lab tech will get it from the other side. What is my doctor testing me for? If there are bacteria in your urine, it could mean an infection somewhere. Well, I know the results right away. Your doctor will be contacting you with the results. Hi, I have a doctor's appointment scheduled with Dr. Smith, and I need to change it. What day did you have it scheduled for? My appointment was on Tuesday. What time was it scheduled for? It was for 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I see your appointment. What day would you like to switch it to? I would like to switch it to next Friday. What time would you like? I would like to come in at 10 in the morning. Fine. I will pencil that in right now. We will see you then. Hi, I need to see a doctor soon. Do you feel this is an emergency? My chest feels tight and I can't catch my breath. Did this come on suddenly? 
It started yesterday. If you feel this is a real emergency, you should dial 911 for the paramedics. I don't want to dial 911, but I want to see a doctor right now. Do you have transportation to our urgent care facility on Sunset Boulevard? My friend can drive me to urgent care. That will work out well. Remember, if you have a major problem, call 911. I need help picking out a lotion. It would be my pleasure to help. What do you need help with? I picked up some poison oak while hiking and I can't stop itching. We have Tech New and it's available in lotion or cream. Do you find that one works better than the other? I have heard that the cream is longer lasting. Is there anything I can take that will help with the itching? If you take an antihistamine, that would help a lot. Thank you for helping me figure out what to do with my poison oak. It was my pleasure. Come back anytime. I was told to come to you to get a chest x-ray. No problem. Just take your clothes off from the waist up and put the gown on with the opening in the back. Then what should I do? You will stand over here up against this plate. Should I just stand naturally? You will raise your arms up shoulder high. Is this all right? Yes, you are doing great. Uh, where will you be going? I need to stand behind this shield. Now you will take a deep breath, hold it, and let it out. Is that it? That's it. You can get dressed when the film is developed. I would like to purchase some health insurance. Have you ever purchased health insurance before? I have health insurance now, but I want to look into other choices. Do you know if you're interested in an HMO or a PPO? Could you explain the difference to me? To clarify it for you, with a PPO, you may pay more, but you get to choose your own doctor. When I pay for a service, is the payment the same for a PPO or HMO? The payments are quite a bit higher for the PPO, but you can go anywhere you like. How much will an HMO cost me per month? Go to our website and fill in the questionnaire. Once we have all of your information, we can give you a quote. I came here to get a chest x-ray. I will need you to take your clothes off from the waist up and put on the gown, leaving the opening in the back. What comes next? I will need you to face this glass plate right over here. Should I do anything else? Your arms need to be raised to shoulder height. Is this okay? So far, so good. How come you are walking away? I am not leaving. I just need you to take a really deep breath, hold it, and then let it out. Will I be finished then? You will be able to put your clothes on as soon as I have checked the film. You look kind of green. I don't feel so good. I am feeling sick to my stomach. Have you had anything to eat lately? I had fried shrimp and clams for lunch. Perhaps the food was bad. Perhaps, but I haven't felt well for a few days now. Has anything been upsetting you lately? My stress level is pretty much what it usually is. Do you think that maybe you're getting the flu? It seems to me like I may have caught a bug. You look a bit under the weather. Uh, I'm not feeling all that great. I think I have that crud that is going around. I know that it's going around the dorms. My boyfriend hasn't been feeling so well. Maybe he passed it on to me. I have some cold tablets if you'd like one. Mostly I feel like I need some rest and hot soup. Drinking liquids and getting rest is a good idea with a cold. My grandmother thinks that honey and whiskey is going to cure for the cold. You could always go to the pharmacy if it gets worse and if you want suggestions. <laughs> If things don't get better in a few days, I will look for some other solutions. Sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if you could drive me to the emergency room. Of course. What is the problem? I am running a really high fever of 105 degrees and I have a rash on my stomach. If you can, go and unlock the back door so I can get in when I get there if you fall asleep.
I can do that when I get off the phone. Do you know where your driver's license and insurance card are? I already had them out before I called you. Where is your nearest emergency room? It's just a few blocks away. Fine, I'm on my way. I'll be there in about five minutes. I am here to get my prescription filled. Your prescription will be ready in 20 minutes. Do you ever deliver prescriptions by mail? Yes. In fact, you can renew this prescription over the internet and have it delivered to your home. How should I take this medication? You should take it twice a day. Should I avoid alcohol with this medication? You need something in your stomach when you take it. Don't drink alcohol with this medi medication. Should I expect any side effects? Sometimes you might feel dizzy, but that isn't common. Hi, what brings you to my office today? I've been getting really short of breath, and my coach wanted to have a doctor check me out. Have you had the flu lately? No, I've been pretty healthy. I just have trouble taking a really deep breath. Have you ever been tested for allergies? Peaches make me break out, but I don't have any other allergies. Does this happen all the time or maybe a little more in the cold weather? I've noticed that it is worse when I am under stress like during finals week. I feel that you should see a pulmonary specialist to check for asthma. I appreciate that referral, doctor. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay for the rest of class today. Why do you need to leave early? I don't feel so good. What doesn't feel right? I feel as if I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Perhaps you should get checked out at the student house center before you go home. I have some medicine at home that I could take. Are you going to be okay to drive home or would you like someone to go with you? Thank you, but my friend is in the library and he can give me a ride home. We hope that you are feeling better soon. Email me if you have any questions. You don't look so good. I feel horrible. I think I picked up a bug. Do you know who you got it from? Oh, a lot of people in my dorm are sick. Perhaps I picked it up there. Do you take any cold medication? I've been taking vitamin C and zinc and trying to get some rest. I think that rest and liquids are what doctors recommend for a cold. My grandmother swears by a hot chicken soup for a cold. A pharmacist might be able to help you if your home remedies don't work. Yes. If I get worse, I will definitely look for extra help with this. The doctor sent me over here to have my blood drawn. Certainly. Please have a seat and roll up your left sleeve. What is this test for? Well, today your doctor wants to check your white blood cell count. What does that tell him? Well, if it is elevated, you might have an infection. Will the blood test hurt? It is only a little pin stick. I'm going to put on a tourniquet on your arm to puff your veins up. Ouch! There we go. I got the blood that I needed. Hello, how are you doing today? I've been having trouble breathing lately. Have you had any type of cold lately? No, I haven't had a cold. I just have a f heavy feeling in my chest when I try to breathe. Do you have any allergies that you know of? No, I don't have any allergies that I know of. Mm, does this happen all the time or mostly when you were active? It happens a lot when I work out. I'm going to send you to a pulmonary specialist who can run tests on you for asthma. Thank you for your help, doctor. Excuse me, professor. I need to go home now. Is everything okay? I just feel funny. What exactly seems to be the matter? I have a terrible headache. Do you think that you should go to the student health center? I already have some medicine at home. If I could just get there. Do you need someone to drive you home? Uh, thank you, but the bus stop's right at my house. Well, go home and rest up. Make sure you check the website for assignments. Good morning. How have you been doing? I haven't been able to take a deep breath lately, and I need to know why. Have you had any type of bug lately? No, I've been feeling fairly good most of the time. It's just as hard to breathe. Has anyone ever told you that you have allergies? No one has ever checked me for allergies. Does this happen more when you are under stress? When the weather gets really cold, it gets worse. I'm going to refer you to a pulmonary specialist who can run tests on you for asthma. 
Thank you for pursuing this. I appreciate your help. What's going on? What happened? I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'm going to need your information. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I was distracted with the car accident. I figured. Well, here's my information. Let me get my information. I have it in my car. Yes, please do that. Well, it seems like I don't have my insurance card. How could you not have your insurance information? I drive another car. I must have left it in that one. Fine. Let me get your information. Sure. Call me later today. I will give you my information. I don't know which size to get. Why don't you check your shoes? Sizes are different with each shoe style. I guess you'll have to measure your foot. How do I do that? There's a chart by your chair you put your foot on. Oh, I found it. Thanks. What size are you? I'm a size 8. You have a small shoe size for a man. It's all right. Shoe size doesn't matter. No, shoe size does matter. Welcome to Infinity Insurance. Hello. I am looking to buy insurance for my car. Well, you have come to the right place. Please sit. I came in the other day and spoke with David. Oh, great. Did he take down all your information? Yes, he told me I had to bring in this paper from the DMV. Great. This go this should go by real quick then. David gave me a price yesterday as well. He told me it would be $75. Yes. That is what we charge for first-time drivers. Okay, I would like to make my first payment today. Good. How will you be paying? Cash, debit, or credit card? I will be paying debit. Hey Mark, do you know where I can look for used cars? You can always check online. My friend bought a car on Craigslist. Yeah, but I was thinking about that. Do you know any other way? There's a dealership that sells used cars on Atlantic Boulevard. Where is it? I've never seen one. It's on the corner of 7th and Atlantic. Oh, by the Burger King. Yeah, they have a pretty good selection. You should check it out. I'm down. Can you go with me? Sure, I'm free tomorrow and Thursday. Shoot me a text. Will do, man. Thanks. Sure thing, bro. You owe me, though. Hello. I was in an accident earlier today. Okay. Did you get the appropriate information from the other driver? Yes, I did. Just tell me what you need. It would be better if you came into the office. When can I come in? You can come in tomorrow. What time works for you? I can make it in tomorrow at noon. Great. Can you give me your full name? Yes, it's David Mark. Okay, Mr. Mark. I have you scheduled for tomorrow at noon. Sounds good. I will see you tomorrow. Please remember to bring all the information you got from the other driver. Excuse me, sir. How much for this lamp? I'll sell it to you for $50. Oh, no. That's way too expensive. What price did you have in mind? Maybe something closer to one-fourth that much. I might as well give it away for that price. What about half? That's still not enough for a profit. I'll give you $30 for it. Make it 35 and you've got a deal. All right. That sounds good to me. You sure drive a hard bargain. Hello. May I please talk to a store manager? Yes. What seems to be the problem? I scheduled some furniture to be delivered today. Would you like to change the delivery time? Yes, something came up and I won't be home until 3 p.m. That is not a problem, sir. I'll fix it. Thank you. I was worried it had already been dispatched. It's no problem at all. Please tell the delivery man to be aware of my dog. Does he bite, sir? No, but he may trip someone. I'll make sure they're on high alert. I checked the whole car, and it has some problems. What kind of problems does it have? The brakes need to be replaced, as well as the power steering. Is that all? That seems like an easy fix. That's not all. The alternator seems to be malfunctioning. How much is it going to cost me to fix it all? It'll cost around 300 to $400. That's not too bad. Is there anything else? From what I can tell, no. I would recommend buying it. Let me call the seller, and I will let you know if you can start. Great. I can start right away, if he gives you the thumbs up. 
He said that it's fine. I will be back for the car when you're done. Unfortunately, you made a lot of mistakes and I cannot pass you. What mistakes did I make? You failed to put on your turn signals when turning a corner. How many mistakes am I allowed? You are allowed three mistakes. You got five. Which other mistakes did I make? You hit the curb when you were parallel parking. I thought you might have missed that. No, you also didn't pay attention to some, to some of the signs. Which signs are you talking about? You passed a yield sign and did not yield. Can I take the test again? You can take it again on Monday. Your Honor, I'd like to challenge this ticket. What is your reason for challenging this ticket? The police officer did not have the right to issue the ticket. Can you explain what you mean with that statement? I was rightfully parked. He told me that I was parked in a handicap space. Well, was it a handicap space? It used to be. It is not, not anymore. Well, was there a sign letting you know it was a handicap space? No, because the spot has since been removed. So, did you explain to the officer that it was no longer a handicapped space? I tried, but he wouldn't listen. He said I was trying to get away from paying. Thank you. I will question the officer and get his side of the story. Where should my hands be on the steering wheel? Your hands should be on 10 and 2. 10 and 2? What do you mean? Think of the steering wheel as a clock. Put your hands on 10 and 2. Oh, okay. What about my eyes? Should I be looking at the signs? Take a quick glance at the signs, but always look in front. When do I have to use my horn? You should use your horn for an emergency. What about if someone cuts me off? That's not an appropriate use of your horn. Am I ready to start driving yet? No, you need to learn some more of the basics. Thank you for coming in today. I'll see you next week. Excuse me, instructor. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure thing, Mr. Davis. What can I help you with? Well, about next week. I can't make it. That is a problem. You are mandated by court to attend every week. I know, but I have a family emergency. You have to go to the court and ask for an extension. Do I have to come back over here after? No, they will give you a makeup date. Great. Thank you for all your help. Sure thing. I hope everything is all right. Thanks. I'll see you next time. So what did you think about the car? It was a good test drive, but I need to think it over. Do you have any questions or concerns? I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm going to purchase this car. If I may ask, what didn't you like about the car? I don't see myself driving this car. Is it the price? Let me talk to my manager. We might be able to lower the price. It's not the price. I just don't think it's the right fit for me. Would you like to see another car at the dealership? I'm sorry, but I didn't see any other car I liked. Well, thanks for considering our dealership. If I change my mind, I will let you know. Thanks. Hello, I'm here to renew my registration. Okay, may I please have your renewal notice? Yes, here it is. Do you need my driver's license? No, this is fine. It seems you missed your deadline. Yes, I completely forgot. Well, it's going to cost you a bit more to renew it. How much more will it cost? It was going to be $88. Now it's going to be $120. Well, I guess I'm going to have to be more careful. It would be a good idea. Have you done the smog check? No. Is it required? It is this year. You'll have to do it again two years from now. Can I come back tomorrow? Yes, don't wait in line. Come directly to me. Check out my birthday haul. Wow, that's a lot of cash. My relatives were really generous. What are you going to buy with it? Well, I'm going to save half of it. What? You could buy so much with this. I know, but I want to save some for later. Well, maybe you can still afford that new video game. No way. I'm going to stretch this money. How are you going to do that? I'm going to buy used games instead. Well, I guess a used game is better than nothing. Hello, I need to make an appointment. Were you mandated by the court to go to traffic school? Yes, I was. Does that matter? 
Yes, it does. Let me have your full name. It's David Johnson. What days do you have available? We have Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Oh, okay. okay. I can make it on Thursday. What time should I be in? Come in at 9 a.m. If you can't make it during that time, please call. Great. I will see you this Thursday. Remember to bring your court papers. We need to sign those. I seem to have lost them. Could I go to court to get another copy? Yes, go to the court and print them out before you come over. I really liked this car. How much are you asking for it? I'm asking for $2,000. It has some minor problems. Yes, my mechanic told me it was a quick fix. So, you want to take the car? Yes, I could write you a check right now. That sounds good. Could I cash it today? Yeah, go ahead. It will clear. Don't worry. Didn't mean anything by it. No, it's cool. I know sometimes you have to wait for a check to clear. Great. So, could you make it out to Michael Slender? Sure thing. I'm going to put car payment under the memo. Sounds good, man. I will take care of things at the DMV tomorrow. I can't believe the coffee maker broke. Well, it was pretty old model. I guess it did last quite a few years. We should buy a new one. Do you want to buy the same model? Maybe it's time we upgrade. What do you mean by that? Well, now we can buy a better coffee maker. What did you have in mind? Maybe something with more functions? I would really like an espresso maker. It's settled then. We'll buy a new coffee maker. The test drive went well. How much are you asking for? I'm selling the car for 10000 Oh, wow. That's a little steep, don't you think? What were you thinking? Keep in mind, it's in perfect condition. Well, I would want to take it to my mechanic first. From the test drive, what price are you thinking? I was thinking 7500 I can't do that price. I've put a lot of work into this car. Let's cut to the chase. What's your minimum price? I can let it go for an extra grand. So you would let it go for 8500 Yes, that would be fine. Hello, officer. I want to report a car accident. What was the cause of the accident? The other driver had been drinking. Are there any casualties? No, both drivers are fine. Where did the accident take place? It's on the corner of 5th and Vine Street. How many people are involved in the accident? There are two cars. Each car has two people in the vehicle. We will respond as soon as possible. Thank you. Can you hurry? It looks like one of the drivers wants to leave. We will get there as soon as possible. Excuse me, I'd like to use the warranty on my phone. What do you mean, use the warranty? The warranty promises a new phone if this one breaks. Did something happen to it? I dropped it and the screen cracked very badly. It says here that your warranty has expired. What? That can't be true. I'm afraid it was only good for a year, sir. What am I supposed to do with a busted phone? Well, if you trade it in, you'll get a discount. Well, I suppose it won't hurt. I suggest you buy a longer warranty on this one, sir. Hello, I wanted to ask you about car insurance prices. Sure thing. Please have a seat. Thank you. I just bought my first car. Great. Congratulations. What kind of car is it? It's a 1994 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Oh, so it's an older make. Yes, but it's in good condition. So, how much would the payments be? Depends. Have you been in any accidents? No, I have not. Have you gotten any driving tickets? Nope. That can affect the insurance rate? At times. Well, everything seems to be in order. You would have to pay $75 monthly. That sounds great. Sir, is this your car? Yes. Are you giving me a ticket? Unfortunately, yes, I am. Read the sign. Which sign? I don't see a sign. The sign above you, sir. So what? It says we can't park on Mondays. Yes, it does. Although it also says that you can't park without a permit. I didn't see that. Well, I'm sorry, but I still have to give you the ticket. 
Can't you just give me a warning? I'm sorry, but I already started writing the ticket. Fine, give me the ticket. I'll fight it in court. How many miles does the car have? It has 55,150 miles on it. Let's take it around the block, see what this baby has. Sure thing. Here are the keys. The air conditioning doesn't work. No, it does not. It's an easy fix, though. Okay, are there any other problems with it? Everything should be in order. The power steering seems to need some fixing. Why do you say that? It's hard to turn the steering wheel when turning. You may take it to a mechanic to make sure. Thank you for coming so quickly. What seems to be the problem? All the channels suddenly stopped working. Did you make sure all the cables were plugged in? Yes, I checked and double checked them. There may be some kind of signal interference. Is there any way you can test that? Of course. Give me a moment, please. Do you know what the problem is? Not quite yet. So you can't change the channels? No, not at all. Well, you'll be able to once you change the remote batteries. Where do you want to go to eat? I'm not sure. Wait, watch out! The light is red! Oh, damn. Well, there. I passed it. I think there was a cop at that light. Can you check? Look behind you. I don't see anything. Wait. There is a car turning the corner. Is it a police car? Well, is it? Oh, no. I think it is. Well, hopefully he doesn't stop us. Oh, no. He just turned on his lights. Damn. I have to pull over. Yes. I hope I don't get a ticket. So I can give you the title transfer after you pay me. Okay, I can pay you in full today. That's great. I have the title transfer here with me. Great. What do I need to do? I just need you to fill in the information on this form. And then you're going to take it to the DMV? Yes, you should receive a notice from the DMV in the mail. Okay, that sounds good. Once you fill out everything, be sure to sign your name at the bottom. Will do. When can you take the paper to the DMV? I can take it later on today. If not, I can definitely take it tomorrow. Awesome. I just want to get everything done fast. I have finally saved up enough to buy my first car. That's great, dear. Do you have a car in mind? I want a Honda Civic. I like to drive stick. Have you been looking around? Yes, I checked online. I have also been to some dealers. You have to be careful when you go to dealers. I know. They will try to take advantage of people. Yes, you should take somebody that knows about cars. Yeah, I'm going to take Joseph. He knows everything about cars. Good idea. How much are you planning to spend? I have 20 grand. Wow. Are you going to pay for the car or will you be making payments? I was thinking about making payments. I don't want to get stuck without cash. That sounds like a good idea. So, how much is the ticket going to cost? Well, it's going to be $200. $200 for a parking ticket? Well, it looks like this is your third parking ticket. Yes, but I haven't gotten one in a couple of months. This is your third parking ticket this year. I know. Fine. I will pay the ticket. How will you be paying the ticket? I will be paying in cash. So, that'll be $200 in cash. Yes, let me get you your receipt. Thank you. Have a nice day. Excuse me, but I'd like to make an appointment for next week. I can help with that. Did you try doing it over the phone or online? Yes, but it seemed so confusing. I know what you mean. They are working on it. Great. So I wanted to come in sometime next week. How does Monday sound? Monday is no good. Is Wednesday okay? Yes, Wednesday works. We have these times available. I can come in at 10 o'clock a.m. Great. I need your name and phone number. My name is Christopher Clark and my phone number is 555-323-2465. Great. We will see you on Wednesday. Do you want to come with me to Walmart? 
What do you need to buy? I'm out of groceries. Groceries are expensive at Walmart. You really think so? Yes. You should buy groceries at the market. I also need some new blankets. Well, you'd buy that at Walmart. If Walmart sells both, why go to different stores? You'll save money if you do. Why will I save money by going to different stores? Stores have different prices for different things. I liked the car, but I'm not happy with the price. I'm sorry, but that's the best we can do. Could you talk to your manager and have it brought down? I could try, but it probably won't work. I can't afford 15000 The most I can spend is 10000 Let me call my manager. He is out of the office. I can pay it all off now. I don't want to be making payments. Well, my manager said that we can work with eleven grand. I can't do eleven grand. How about... 10500 Let me check. Great. I can pay you with a check today. It seems that 10500 will work. Let's get the paperwork filled. Hello, I'm number G85. How may I help you today? I would like to apply for my driving permit. Are you 16 years old? That's the minimum age. Yes, I am. Here's my ID. Thank you. May I see your form? Oh, of course. Would I be able to take the written today? If you have the $30, then yes, you can take it. Oh, I must have forgotten my money at home. Well, you can make an appointment to take it tomorrow. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, I will set up the appointment. Hello, how can I help you? I'm calling about your delivery service. What seems to be the problem? The delivery was scheduled to arrive over an hour ago. Your cake has not arrived? No, and I'm very disappointed. I'm sorry about that. We're a bit behind schedule. You know, I needed that cake an hour ago. I understand. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Will the delivery man be here soon? Yes, he will. And he will refund you the delivery fee. All right, thank you. Do you know why I stopped you? No, officer. Why? You failed to stop at the stop sign. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't see the stop sign. Have you had anything to drink? No, I have not. Do you need to see my license? Yes, I need your license and registration. Okay. Here is my paperwork. I will be back. I need to check your background. Sure thing, officer. Everything seems to be in order. I'm going to give you a warning. Thank you, officer. I'll be more careful. Excuse me, I would like to return this. What seems to be the problem? It's not working correctly. When did it start having problems? As soon as I took it out of the box. I see. Would you like to exchange it? No, I think I'd just like my money back. All right. Did you pay with a credit card? Yes, I paid with the store credit card. I'll return the purchase price to your card. Can I get any cash in return? No, you now have store credit in your card. I got my roommate today. That's great. When do you move in? I move in next week. Is there anything you have to take? Yeah, there are a few things. Write down a list so we can go shopping. All right. Here you go. I'm all done. This is a pretty long list. There's a lot of stuff I need. I don't think you need a disco ball. Of course I do. Goes with the strobe light. Please write a more practical list. Dad, I got a parking ticket at school. Well, you should pay it off as soon as possible. Where can I pay it off? You can go to downtown and go to the court there. Can I pay it off online? Yes, you can. Look at the fine. It should give you a website. Oh, okay. Let me go to get the ticket. It's in my car. Hurry, because I need to leave for work. Oh, wait. I forgot. I put it in my wallet. Well, take it out, look in the back, and it should give you a website. Yes, it's in the back. Am I going to pay with my debit card? Yes. Do you have the money to pay? I felt the car's transmission was lagging a bit. Really? I haven't felt anything. Have you had the transmission checked? 
I took it for a tune-up the other day. The mechanic didn't say anything? Nope. He told me the car was in tip-top shape. Would you mind if I took it to my mechanic? Just want to make sure. Sure, go ahead. Would you like to take it now? Let me check with my mechanic. If he is busy, then you can come back tomorrow. I am free. He said he is free tomorrow. I guess I can come back tomorrow. Great. Feel free to call me at any time. Hey, where are you headed? I'm going to choose some furniture at Ikea. Are you redecorating? Yeah, I'm tired of having mismatched furniture. What are you planning to buy? A couch, a coffee table, and a reading chair. Won't that be expensive? There's a great sale going on right now. Oh, that's great. You'll get good prices. I hope I find what I'm looking for. Will you have it delivered? No, I borrowed a pickup truck from a friend. Finally, I got my driver's license. Congratulations. Can I see it? Sure. Here it is. I don't like my picture. Oh, wow. You blinked. Yeah, they didn't want to take another picture. I didn't know your middle name was David. Oh, no. I didn't want anyone to know. Well, you shouldn't have put it on your license. I had to. When are you going to get your license? I was thinking about going tomorrow to the DMV. You want me to take you? I do have my license now. Sure. Pick me up from the house at noon. Hi. I need assistance, please. How can I help you today? My phone refuses to turn on anymore. It looks like it's short-circuited. Well, I did drop it many times. I'm afraid I can't help you. I guess I'll have to use the warranty. According to your contract, you may choose a new phone. I'll just get the same brand again. Will you need the warranty? No, just have the phone. Make sure you don't go dropping it. Before you take your written test, we need to take your picture. Okay, where do I go? I can take the photo. Stand behind the red line, please. Where do I go to take the test? Go on the other side of the wall and pick a stall. Sounds good. May I have a pencil? Sure, the pencils are on the front desk. Where do I obtain the test? They will give you your test. Remember, eyes on your own test. Of course. This reminds me of school. Yeah, we get that a lot. Will they let me know if I pass the test or not? Yes, they will let you know after you finish. I need new clothes. What kinds of new clothes? I want something stylish. What do you want new clothes for? Well, school starts again in a week. Looking good costs money, though. I know what you mean. The stuff you're looking for is expensive. Yeah, I don't have much money. Maybe you should try bargain shopping. That sounds like something my mom would do. Hey, moms are good at saving money. Excuse me, this is my first time on campus. Where can I park? There are three parking lots on campus. Can you point me to the direction of the nearest one? Keep driving straight. When you get to the light, make a left. Thank you. Do I have to pay? The first floor has visitors parking. So do I have to pay? Do they take credit cards? Yes, you would have to pay and they do take credit cards. How much does it cost to park? I believe it is three dollars. I could be wrong. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. That is such a cute dress. Thanks. I bought it yesterday. Have you worn it yet? No, I have to accessorize it first. Did you buy everything you needed? Yep. I have a matching belt, a purse, and shoes now. Well, put it on so we can see it. What do you think? It looks nice on you. Are you sure it doesn't make me look fat? No way. It totally flatters your figure. Thanks. I hope my boyfriend likes it too. Dad, I passed my driving test. You did? That's great news. Where do you want to go first, Dad? You're going to take me out for a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? How about we go and get you a nice steak dinner? That sounds great. I could go for a nice steak around now. Come to the house and pick me up. Would I be able to drive myself? No, you have to drive with someone over the age of 21. 
Oh, okay. Well, we can drop off my friend that took me to the DMV. Sure, we can go drop him off before we leave. This is the perfect birthday cake for my son. What day do you need the cake? His party is on Saturday. Would you like to have it delivered? Oh yes, please. Some time in the morning would be perfect. I can have someone drop it off at 10.30 a.m. That sounds perfect. It's settled. Great. That will be $20 for the cake and $5 for delivery. Can the delivery man enter through the back door? Of course. Just write down your address, please. There. All done. I also wrote my phone number. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. I can't pay for the ticket. Why can't you pay for the ticket? Well, I just got laid off from my job. Okay, Mr. Richardson. I'm going to have to give you an alternative. What do you mean? I'm going to have to give you 36 hours of community service. Thank you for the opportunity, Your Honor. You will report to the nearest community service center. They will tell me where to go? Yes, they will give you an option of places to go. Thank you, Your Honor. I greatly appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope you don't plan on returning to this courtroom anytime soon. I would like to buy this new laptop, please. Would you like to buy the warranty? What is a warranty? It's something that fixes your machine should it break. How does it work? If your laptop breaks, just bring it in and we'll fix it. How much is the laptop? It costs $550 without tax. How much is the warranty? The warranty is $40 for two years. I think I'll be fine with just the laptop. All right, but you can always change your mind. The first thing you want to do is fasten your seat belt. Check. What's next? Check your mirrors and make sure you can see behind you. Done. Should I put it in reverse now? Yes. Ease off the brake slowly. Okay. I need to turn to leave the parking lot. Make sure there are no pedestrians walking behind you. Okay. Do I turn the steering wheel to the left? Yes. Make sure you are paying attention to the cars. Will do. Do I put it in drive now? Yes, but remember, have your foot on the brake and then ease it off. Wow, this seems easy. Let's go out on the street.